Hi, I'm Tony Orton from Offshore Adventures. Deep dropping baits to kingfish is a very, very productive way. It's probably one of the most common ways now of catching kingfish in deep water. So we're now coming up to a pin. This is a great area to be dropping baits down deep. We're probably going to drop them down around 50 or 60 metres with our um, deep drop rig. Um, we've got the indicator line so we can exactly see where we're, we're dropping these baits. One of the best ways is just to have someone driving, get over the pin and keep reversing the boat so you can keep stationary over top of the fish. Okay, so we've got our drag preset up, so when we're on strike, that's pretty much our fighting drag. In this case, I can just pull the line off. When we go to set the hook, we just want to, because it's a circle hook, we don't want to put heaps of pressure on it. We just want it to go up nice and even, just about mid-drag there. So I can just pull the line off, and that's going to be about enough to set the hook. So. And then once it's hooked, you can then go up to strike, and we can start trying to get that fish off the reef. We just want to have our finger on the spool. We don't want to have it in gear. We don't want to have the ratchet on. We want to just have our finger on the spool, just supporting the, the bait. So now we can feel for any bites. If it wants to run, we can just free spool it out. It's got nice, gentle pressure on that spool. If that kingfish comes up and hits it or, or, or tries to swallow it, um, we're going to feel that. Straight away, we're going to feel a little tug or a pull. If it starts, the line starts accelerating off, and then you know, you're starting to get some good speed, it's a, quite an obvious sign that that fish it's, the kingfish has swallowed the bait, turned around and starting to run off and that would be sort of probably a good time to slowly put that drag up and try and set that, that uh, circle hook in the corner of the mouth. Too much drag, can, you know, it puts too much tension on that hook and will pull it out of the mouth. So just nice even pressure and we can, we can let it have time to swallow that bait. Oh, got a bite. Here we go. Okay, it's taking it, see the line peeling off. So we're just going to put that drag up, point the rod tip at the, at the fish just to set the hook. Here we go, we're in now. We're gonna be very conscious now that we don't wanna, this fish doesn't go onto the reef, so starting to put a bit more drag on it. Just trying to get them off the bottom. I don't put the rod into my gimbal or anything until I've got it under control, but what I'm trying to do is turn its head, but little short pumps, I'm trying to get its head to come facing up. The problem with the kingfish is the head keeps, if they're facing down, they'll keep going down, so when you feel like you've got it under control, you can back that drag back a little bit. So you're not sort of running the risk of pulling that hook or snapping the line. So we're just lifting that rod up and winding down, lifting up, winding down. Always trying to keep that even pressure on the rod. Here we go, eh? live baiting. Beautiful. Well guys, hope you got some good info out of that. Check out Fishing Advisor for some more tips and tricks and be safe and good luck out there.